So today I'm going to be doing my October haul and I'm sorry I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately, I've been really busy with work and I think the last video I was going to do was my blackhead one but out of time, I'm going to get to that eventually but today I'm doing my haul. I'm going to start off with this new palette I have for Revolution, it's it neutrals versus neutrals, spelt differently and it's really nice, it's like a sort of a continued collection of the, um, what do you call it, iconic prior ones. They're really cool. They come with this really cool brush as well. Very autumn shades. Great for this season. It's really nice. Red. All these red colours are beautiful. But literally, like, they're so pigmented. You've got to do it like, dab, dab, dab. Like, I look kind of evil when I sort of wear them because I don't know if it really matches my skin colour, but I really like them. Especially these shimmers at the bottom. I'm wearing one of them today. Yeah. These shimmers are so gorgeous pink and gold and shades and the red ones really nice and pink very pink never see i'm a pink so yeah this is about 6.99 from revolution it's a really good price and uh, one of my favorites this month the next are these highlighters this is from revolution vivid baked highlighter which is in the shade golden lights which is really nice like pale white color which is gorgeous i have on now can't, it's alright, my auntie's okay. But yeah, it's lovely. This is MUA Luxe Golden Beam, no, Glow Beam, Glow Beam in the shade Gold. It's very unusual, this packet. It's the first one I've seen ever. It's like got, it's like this. And to get out the pigment, you have to like twist it, it like scrapes away at the palette sort of thing. Can you see the like, loose bits of gold? It's really unusual, but it's very nice. Which is pretty it's not crazy pigment but it's it's okay i guess it's good for it's just got a lot of glitter in it it's very loose it, it kind of reminds me of body glitter because it's literally got all over my hand it reminds me of body glitter a lot so i say i recommend this for like a party maybe not every day i wouldn't think i haven't tried it yet probably but yeah, it's really cool i think they're rather cheap i'm probably going to list the the pound coins the pound coins, the um, price is in the description. Next up is this Revolution Pro Fix um, spray. It's supposed to be an oil control, oil control fixing spray. It's supposed to be like, you know, sitting spray for you. And it's, I've tried it for the last couple of days. It's not failed me yet. It's, it does take a while to dry. Yeah, it does like, I try not to put it on. <coughs> um, over my mascara even though I've just done that because it goes like I've been crying and your face is rather wet it takes about I didn't say how long it takes to dry but it takes a while but other than that it's quite good it does get you like your tops top soaking wet luckily it dries but I recommend this is four pound from Revolution it's really good actually and the last thing from Revolution is this beautiful highlighter palette which I am really enjoying sort of um, Thing is, me and my boyfriend went shopping Friday, Friday, and it takes like maybe an hour and a half, maybe more, to get to the town that we live in, or the time town that we go to because we live like in the countryside sort of thing, and then we travel to that town which has got a little bit of stuff, and the bus comes at like eleven, two and half four, so. We missed the two o'clock bus, so we thought, oh, we've got two and a half hours to kill, what do we do? And I was on um, Instagram, I was like, oh my god, Kyle, this is in um, Superdrug. So we, he was like, oh, we'll go back there then. Obviously, he loved that idea. Went back there, bought it, and uh, and um, I bought, what else did I get? Bought something else. Oh, I bought four. I think I bought this one as well. It's a, eyeline, a lip line, I'll get to that in a minute. And it came to like... Eighteen pound. I thought, God, how much does this cost? Um, I will link it in description. How much it costs? It is, you know, to come to eighteen pound. That was like three quid. That eyeliner. So, yeah, it's a bit much, really. It's not. I don't think it's worth the price because on Instagram I saw like this amazing pigmented arm full of um, eyeliner highlight, and it was like really gorgeous. I was like, oh, I have to get it. 
and then I actually tried it on myself I was like oh it's not that good but then obviously like they must have either like come like this like put loads on their finger or like photoshopped it probably photoshopped it <sighs> I just ruined that now but yeah they don't have the main thing is they don't have any like names for the colours which I really like the names if they have them but yeah I'm gonna swatch them give them a minute <sighs> so it's very highlight see a lot of pigment now in the light it's great but well it's not that great it's okay So it's, you can see it a little bit. They're very nice colours. Like it's a bit odd that they've put like this like golden colour. I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna use that for highlight. I will use it for a eyeshadow, but the highlight and the pink one, it's like not really. But I do like them. But to be honest, I don't think it's worth the price. They should be at least eight pounds. The next one's probably the most popular out of one of the most popular out of all the hauls. This is Jeffree Star Lip Lacquer Matte One and it's okay. it's okay. I mean, the amount of time Soph does nails has bragged about this amazing um, lip, lip lacquer, which is obviously not offending her. I mean, she's amazing, but Jeffrey's this isn't the best. I mean, it's a matte lip lacquer, and I just I swore to myself, I won't buy another one. But I thought everybody's going on about this, and it's from America, and he's not very well known. I thought I'll try it, and it, I I thought. Right, I'm really going to try it if I can find it cheap. found it really cheap on eBay for £9.95. I'm not saying anything bad about that service. The service was great, amazing. Like, it was from it was from the UK and it was quick. It, I, I ordered, like, Friday, it came Monday. Really pre pleased with the, the service, but it's just... I don't know. It's just, it's... You know what I like about my lips? I don't like them dry. And it was, it was, it was the product that annoyed me because... On the picture, it it, had, it was it's a celebrity skin. It was like it's supposed to be real nice nude, and then it dried and it came out as like a pink. So what I applied, it, it looks orange, and then it dries, it becomes pink. And I'm like, how does that work when that doesn't look anything like the picture? I'm thinking actually this might be a fake. I just thought that it might be a fake. Oh well, I'm not gonna buy it again. <laughs> so it it's a really nice colour. See, it look, on the light it looks like a mauve, but it's actually on here, it's like a peach. So it looks really nice, and then, but on me, it's just like, no, it looks like, it's very cracky, very cracky. It's cracked a lot, it's very dry, and, and, the only thing is, I put, put it on before I went to go to town with my mum. I was out for about at least, maybe, half, no, 45 minutes tops. Came back, and half it had worn off. And we didn't eat anything, all we did was buy some shoes and then came back. I'm like, I haven't, I don't think we are licking my lips a lot. But if I have, don't blame me because this is dry as the Sahara Desert. It's like, it's so dry and it's just, it's a shame because it is a really nice packaging, a really nice product. So it could be fake to be honest. <laughs> 9 95 and then like in America they're saying selling for like $16. So it probably is too good to be true. Like, Steph does nails warn me about this, um, well, warned her fans about this, what was it, a uh, Kylie Jenner fakes that are like too good to be too true prices. So it's probably the same thing. But oh well, not for me. Just putting it out there that this is very dry. <laughs> and another thing, if you wipe it off, okay, that's just really annoying. When I got it, I swatched it on my hand, and it did not come off. Literally, it was like stained, and now it's completely come off. So that's awkward, isn't it? Anyway, on to better things. This is amazing. I just love it. Obviously, this is a new Ariana Grande perfume, Sweet Like Candy, and it's incredible. It's such a beautiful little packaging. It's pretty much like the same one. It's pretty identical to the set, the other one, sort of. Obviously, I got rid of the pom pom, it annoyed me. I'm not getting rid of this. This is so like fluffy, and it's like I'm like a cat when I play with it. I'm like, so yeah, the very similar packaging. Obviously, this is clear and it's got this rose gold 
lid which is gorgeous and this one's all pastel pink which is even prettier Ariana Grande on the outside it doesn't say it's called sweet like candy but who cares we all know it's sweet like candy <sighs> literally she makes me hyper she's just amazing so it's so amazing I've got to cover myself in there right now obviously you guys can't smell it you've got to go and test it because it is to die for this one was the 50 milligrams and it's obviously not that big really what sort of is this is a medium size 50 yeah 50, 50 milligrams 50 milliliters <coughs> um i got it in super drug the only reason i got the 50 milliliter one though was because on instagram they said oh if you buy this every 50 milliliter bottle of ariana grande sweet like candy thing you get you get this free Ari team ariana bottle with some like really cute comfy shorts in pajama shorts and i thought oh my god i have to get it and i tried looking for it online i couldn't find it i thought mm, well i'm going shopping on friday i'll have a look in there and then i asked for the 50 milligram bottle i said is there any chance if you're selling the bottles three bottles of it and they were like look, <laughs> the sale assistants look at me like what's she on about no sorry we don't have it i'm just like oh, damn it why not? That is really annoying because the super drug, my local super drug, isn't that big. It's not huge like London, Liverpool one, which is not going to happen because I live in the countryside. But that annoyed me. It did. Obviously, I didn't show it. I was like, no, that's fine, don't worry. But come on, it's a, it's a it's a worldwide superstar perfume, and you don't have her free gift. I was a bit like. Okay, obviously I work on every free time myself, I'm just like, surely, and the annoying thing is, they were like, oh, but they weren't like, well, would you want to come back another day, see if we can have it, see if we can try, try and get it for you. Obviously, that's the first thing I'd do is the my supermarket, but they were like, no, sorry, no, that we haven't got it. I'm like, okay, fine. I thought, no, it's fine, because I can go look on eBay. Obviously, that was a bad decision, because all of eBay is $30, $41 on eBay, and it's like, Whoa, I think I'm okay. I think I can survive without it now. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, really annoying. But oh well, I've still got this amazing thing and it smells beautiful. Okay, back to this eyeliner. This is from Li Limmel, <laughs> Rimmel London. I cannot talk at all. Exaggerate full colour lip liner in the shade East End Snob. Which sounds a bit silly. It's like one of those rolly ones. And I'm going to put it on because I want to show you the lipstick it goes with. Probably can't see it. But it's a really nice pale pink and the main reason I got this, the day before I went shopping I googled saw lip, uh, lip liner dupe. First thing came up was this and I thought I've never tried saw. I've never even seen. A, from what I imagine, it's, like, it's pretty much this color, like a mauvey pink, like mauvey pale pink. But obviously, I've never tried it. I don't have it. I don't. I can't compare it, which is really annoying. But the main reason I'm doing this is to show you. It actually goes really well with Mac Brave. It goes so well. Well. It did. It might be different in the light, but yeah, I'll show you. No, I was right, it goes really well. I'm still going to swatch it and show you. Yeah, I just broke it. <laughs> so yeah that's it on my hand they are very very similar this one's a bit more purple and obviously this is very pink but I think they go really well and obviously lip liners don't have to exactly match you can always like blend them in which is nice and I think they go really well this is the most exciting thing this came today this beautiful um, MAC lip liner first MAC lip liner I've ever bought called I can never pronounce 
Magenta, Magenta, M A G E N T A, Magenta. It's pretty much well, classic pink color, but it's not pink. It is purple. It's really pretty. We're in the light. It looks exactly the same as this beauty in the intro. I literally so excited to get this. This is the last area, last um, Viva Glam I did was black, and I thought. I cannot get that. That would not suit me. And if I ever wear it, it'll be Halloween. That's just a waste because it's one day. But this is like a bright purple. I'm not going to wear it every day because it's so extravagant. I am wearing it for Halloween. I am literally planning my whole Halloween makeover around this, this lipstick. I'm so excited. So, yeah, they are not identical. This one's a lot darker, I think. Sort of darker. But, yeah, I'm going to swatch oil oh, they look oh my god they look identical there they look like perfect match I was looking all over Google images for obviously a magenta or heroin heroin dupe no such thing and I was obviously typing in Ariana Viva Glam 2 lip liner and it all that came up was the, was the black one I thought I don't want that on the purple one but I found it in the end and it cost me £13 which is annoying because I want to find a dupe but oh well got it now So you, you can tell why I'm wearing these two for Halloween. They are really rather dark. I got, actually got a tip from Kyle's cousin. No, Kyle's cousin's girlfriend. She was, it was on a night out and I was half drunk so I wasn't really listening that intently. But apparently if you put like more lip liner around your lips and then put your lipstick on, it makes your lips look fuller. So I'll have a go, but I don't know. So there is much difference. Well, I need to talk to her properly, but she lives in Liverpool. So I'll have a proper chat with her next time I see her. Oh god. This is a lot pinker, but it looks so good. Okay, see so as you can tell, God it's purple. You can see a little bit around the outside, it's a lot purpler. The lighting isn't helping my end, but yeah. If I try and smooth it in a bit, this is matte by the way, matte lipstick. Matte lipsticks are so much better than matte lip lacquers because they're not as dry, you can, especially matte ones, you can rub your lips together, but yes, it's the best. Okay, so it looks so nice. Which is such a Halloween look. It's like the perfect purple for Halloween. I'm so in love with it. I was thinking of going for a, a purple and green look for Halloween, or a pink and green look, but I'm not giving everything away. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I've seen a girl on YouTube do it. I thought I'm going to copy that, but change the colours a bit. So yeah, I'm going to hopefully do a tutorial if I'm brave enough, because I'm not used to doing like Halloween makeup at all. Just the usual makeup, but I am hopefully going to bring you a tutorial for that. I'm very excited. Literally, it's the 4th today, and I'm so excited. I've pretty much got all the stuff I need. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not. I was going to show you my outfit, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for that. So, yeah. Okay, the last thing is this brush set. Upside down. This is gorgeous. This is recommended by Self Does Nails. Obviously, the one and only. And it is... Apparently it's, I'm not going to do a tutorial because I just, I, this is a long enough video, but I am going to link the tutorial that Soap Dress Nails does of how to use them and all that, and it's, apparently it's an, what was it called? An artist dupe of this, this collection, it's called 
multi-purpose makeup brushes, mermaid multi-purpose brush collection. And it's all these lovely shades, shades, shapes. <clears throat> oh, I just fell out, excuse me. Okay, so this is it. I am failing at life right now. <laughs> so hold them, try and hold them like that. Uh, sorry, but this is obviously the packaging ain't great. But this is what they look like, and they're all. I chose the rose, rose gold collection, and you can't even through them. No. So they are very fluffy, dense brushes, which are. Ignore them. Really, really nice. And oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just going to hold them up. I'm just going to grab a handful. I'm sorry about this guys, so unprofessional. So these are like, actually my favourites for the face and like the contour. So it was this, this is like for foundation or that. And the other ones that would be good for contour would be probably these two. Uh, yeah, I think they're really cute. They're like very, very soft and dense, really good. Don't know about cleaning them. I never know how you would clean them or whatever, but they're just so nice to have. And I thought, I thought I'm gonna get them because I'm gonna use them. I haven't. I've used them once, and I thought, now nah, I prefer my beauty blender. But these are like for for eyeliner. They're crazy. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I might have a go. But this thing with these like, I see all these videos on like um, Instagram with how they like dip it dip these in and then they apply them and I'm like how can you do that you're gonna ruin the brush I am so weird like I don't want to ruin the brush with eyeliner or lip lip gloss whatever it was I just like keep them for collection oh well but yeah I am gonna link where to get this from at ebay it was I think it was like 12.99 or something really cheap really nice good quality brushes for if you want to do all that eyeliner precision stuff so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed my video please like and subscribe if you are new here that'd be great and i will see you next time hopefully i'll be doing this black pore thing or my halloween makeup see you later bye i don't want anybody loving my baby nobody nobody nobody, nobody but me i don't want anybody thinking just me